I sometimes need to uh, repair firing pins. Uh, this comes up more often than old shotguns where it's about impossible to find a replacement pin. All the times the, uh, the points are broken off. In this case I've got a pair of, uh, of uh, Uberti smoke wagon uh, guns that have firing pins too short and a little bit damaged on the end. Uh, the simple solution would be just to order new pins, but uh, you no fun in doing that when you can repair the old ones. And I'll show you kind of the steps I take to repair them. Uh, first, of course, you got to knock them out. I use a punch and a block. I don't have to be this sophisticated. And I'll drive the pin to where it's it's uh, still hanging in there. That makes it a lot easier to drive back in once you get firing pins uh, fixed. This is what the original firing pin looks like. And this one's a little bit short and squared off and a little damage on the corners. Not, even, not, not uh, squared off. Uh, and this one was and I'll show some pictures of the process of what I've done, but basically I uh, drill a hole in the end of the, the thing with this this uh, the drill bit, the same size as the point of the original firing pin. And I've drilled it about a quarter of an inch deep. And then I used, uh, cleaned it up with acetone and uh, used Loctite. Uh, this is specifically 638 to uh, hold the firing the uh, drill bit shank into place. Now I'll cut this off longer and polish it to the length and reinstall it in a gun. And I'll do the same thing with this one. The first step I use in uh, revising these uh, firing pins is I'm going to cut this off right here about where the radius comes into the straight part, in other words about a sixteenth of an inch. So I create a good solid flat to, to uh, uh, establish uh, the new hole. This could get a little noisy. Next I'll chuck it in a lathe and then uh, counter bore the hole here. This is uh, got a little starter drill here and got it chucked up in my It looks like it ought to work. I'll switch this out put the drill bit in. I've got the same drill bit as I'll use to uh, make the actual firing pin here so the hole in the shank should be approximately the same diameter. They're a little bit loose but that's alright and it works alright. Uh, I'm going to watch and reference the number over here until I get uh, four marks which should be a quarter of an inch if all goes well. Four marks. I'll take this out here now. Here's the uh, firing pin out of the blade with the drill bit shank uh, inserted in it. I'll uh, clean this up a little bit and uh, clean the oil out of it and then use the Loctite to to fasten this in and then I'll cut it off again like I did the other one. Well I got the drill bit set in the uh, firing pin and uh, used the uh, Loctite to uh, hold it in place. It's been there just about uh, 24 hours so it should be well cured. You might not be able to see it but I've got a mark here where I intend to cut it 
and uh, I'll do that here in just a second. Here I'm just going to uh, square up that end and polish it a little bit. No need in getting too carried away because I'll probably have to shorten it again a little bit once I get it in the gun and test it. Here's what the firing pin looks like uh, installed in the gun and, and down on the uh, in the rested positions to the recoil shield. The specifications for a Colt single action and clone firing pin protrusion is uh, 0 .045 minimum to 0 .056 maximum. I just uh, coincidence I found out that a Dion is 0 .048 thick and a penny is .058 thick so it makes a handy field gauge to see if uh, your firing pin is, is within range of uh, specification and if it's uh, taller than a dime and shorter than a penny it should be uh, pretty close to right. That wasn't too bad a run.